I am stunned as a Tesla stock investor. Deutsche Bank just increased their Tesla stock price target from 200 to 230 dollars, but they maintain their buy rating. A lot of Tesla stock investors criticize Morgan Stanley, but when Adam Jonas downgraded Tesla stock, he also made sure that the price target is somewhat in line with his actual downgrade. He downgraded it to neutral and the stock price target was just a little bit under where it was uh, back then. But this is a buy rating and is under where Tesla stock is right now. I understand if you haven't looked at Tesla stock in a while and you have an old rating from a while ago and it says buy Tesla stock and now Tesla stock is above your price target, but this was just issued. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Even Gary Black says this action again highlights how lame Wall Street analysts have become. To have a buy rating on a stock but a price target below the current price makes no sense. There's actually quite a bit more Tesla stock news today, so let's go through everything. There's one more Tesla stock price target change. Goldman Sachs today joins a slew of other banks downgrading Tesla. The firm cutting shares of the electric car maker to neutral from buy, though also increasing the company's price target to $248 from $185. In one way, this is sort of bullish because the price target has been increased by quite a bit. But in general, overall, this is more bearish because they downgraded their rating from buy to neutral. Pretty much the same kind of call with the other banks there. It's a valuation thing. Uh, they're talking about how it better reflects, uh, the stock now better reflects what they think is the long-term view of the company. Yeah. Uh, and down really neutral as, a, as not as an overweight kind of position for, for investors. Uh, talking about things like, um, they didn't see the run coming, right? They didn't see it coming, but they're, they're surprised by it. But they think it's due to things like uh, reports of better sales in April and May, They're not official reports, but just reports, uh, less discounting than they thought, uh, the model three getting the full tax credit, the charging deals, and then, of course, the AI sort of frenzy. So all that sort of led to the stock, a huge move for Tesla this year, uh, and last, in, in particular, last, in last May. So kind of a big deal there. So they, they mentioned that, but also they said the company's still well positioned. And like you said, they hiked the price target. They're really sort mm -hmm. of uh, behind there in terms of where the, t the stock is right now. But uh, they also actually hiked their uh, estimates for next quarter, too. So uh, there is that for that sort of uh, position move up higher. So Goldman Sachs surprised by all of these Tesla stock news and you know what's going to happen in the long term as well. Goldman Sachs will be surprised many more times in the future and eventually they will have to keep increasing their Tesla stock price targets because at some point Tesla stock will rally up way up. Most of them are raising their price targets. Right. Yeah. So they still expect the stock to, to perform be better than they exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but like you said, it's it's just following the train, right? Yes. <laughs> you know, the stock starts shooting up. We gotta, we gotta catch up. We gotta catch yeah. up. It is not often that you will see the mainstream media calling out Wall Street analysts. It is somehow gratifying. But Goldman Sachs research report stunned me. This is a stunning day, truly. Check this out. They say we think the market is now giving the stock more credit for its longer-term opportunities. Well, clearly, Goldman Sachs is not really doing that for Tesla stock. And so far, largely, the stock market has not really been giving a long-term view of Tesla stock. It has mostly been short-term focus on the next quarter, the next year, maybe the next few years. And the market has largely ignored what Tesla could become in 2030, 2035, and beyond that. Until the market starts to price in full self driving, I don't think the market is really looking at Tesla long term. At least certainly it doesn't see the whole picture. It maybe is looking at the EV part of the business and that's about it for the most part. We have some more interesting footage of the Cybertruck. Check this out. That's smooth. And it works, not like a Rivian. Not like a Rivian. That's well said. We got a few more pictures of the interior and it looks pretty interesting. A dog can definitely <laughs> go through here. There's a lot of space here. And if you look closely, the seats do appear vented, which is something I love. That's a minor complaint I have about our Model 3. Quick update on the deliveries in the daily reporting countries in Europe, which do not account for the majority of deliveries in Europe, but they do account for a good chunk of it. 
The deliveries have been very steady throughout the whole quarter and seemingly we will be a little bit under the previous quarter in Europe for these specific countries. Keep in mind though that recently it has been declared officially that Germany is now in recession and Germany is a huge part of the European Union economy so if Germany is in recession then the rest of the European Union will suffer too. It wouldn't really be that big of a deal if European sales disappoint this quarter because I mean Germany is in recession let's not forget that. And let's not forget that China has been doing pretty well. Uh, we are waiting for the newest numbers to come out probably uh, tomorrow we will have them and we'll see where the next week falls but so far it has been good it's sort of making up for the slower sales in Europe we haven't heard from Dave Lee in a long time but he is back Tesla is planning to have 100 exaflops of compute power to train FSD by end of next year 100 exaflops is absolutely massive and this is the important part how close is competition to Tesla well by end of next year Tesla will be 100 exaflops ahead of the competition <laughs> and just so you understand how much compute you need to be uh, the most powerful computer in the world you just need a bit over one exaflop Tesla will have 100 exaflops here's the list of all of the other supercomputers and these are petaflops uh, 1000 petaflops will basically give you one exaflop so this would be 0 0.4 this would be 0 0.3 and this is number three in the whole world in somewhere in Europe in Finland and the list goes down here and the computers get a lot weaker quickly so this is sort of a big deal in terms of what Tesla is doing here and James really likes this he says this timeline would be very impressive full construction and operation starting in under 20 months from now he's talking about Giga Mexico we have this new rumor that says the Tesla Giga Mexico factory is scheduled to be completed and put into production in the first quarter of 2025 Tesla has synchronized the new timetable with component suppliers. These are Chinese suppliers who plan to go to Mexico. I translated that picture using auto translate and yeah, it looks like a lot of suppliers are going to China and that rumor, I guess, does certainly have some merit to it. Some people will certainly be disappointed because we had rumors that it would be uh, done much quicker. But I do want to also point out that perhaps this could be referring to volume production and not just a few vehicles being produced here and there. Not only do we need to build the factory, we also need to install all of the equipment. And remember, this is going to be the next generation vehicle, so things are going to be a little tricky. We won't be able to just copy and paste a factory from someplace else. But it does seem to me that the government over there wants Tesla to come, so I don't think we should have any major issues with the government like we had in Germany. So it does appear that this should be largely within Tesla's control. I wouldn't rush to any conclusions in terms of how much time it is actually going to definitely take for Tesla to build this factory and start production. At least probably until we get further and clearer confirmation from Tesla directly in terms of how long it is going to take for Tesla to build and finish this factory. And I found one more interesting picture of the Saba truck, there is going to be a storage compartment right here. Pretty cool. Rob Mauer from Tesla Daily sometimes reports on what Wuwa uh, tweets and finds. And Wuwa tweeted, according to several Chinese media sources, the new Tesla Model 3 will be confirmed for release next month. Mass production will officially start in September and will launch volume deliveries in 2024. Now, something here does not fully add up maybe something got lost in translation um how does mass production start in september but then there are no volume deliveries for a few months so something just seems a little off maybe just a translation issue but seems like we are going to hear something about this next month so that sounds pretty cool this is a bit weird Aston Martin partners with Lucid Group for high-performance EV production. The reason why it's weird is because Aston Martin is paying a lot of money for this. Gary says that Aston Martin last year delivered 6,400 vehicles and they are paying 450 
15 million dollars for this deal in other words aston martin is effectively paying seventy thousand dollars per car for loose's battery technology i do agree with gary that this seems a bit rich in that seventy thousand dollar figure it seems that next year aston martin will deliver only evs and no gas powered vehicles Although Aston Martin investors do like this news, the stock is up about 10% today. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, but if you haven't finished watching this Elon Musk interview, you may want to watch this one first. My name is Matt Postius. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.